So we're doing the 2015 AP Computer Science test, question number two. Uh, you should read this whole thing carefully. I'm just going to go over uh, the example. So what they want us to do in this case is implement this class called Hidden Word. And I'm going to give it, when I create a new instance of Hidden Word, I pass in the word that's hidden, in this case, harps. And that gets stored there. And then the class has one method called getHint, uh, which takes in the guess and returns uh, this string, which tells us how well we did in our guess. So basically what that is doing uh, is, uh, I'm going to try to draw it here. Uh, so in this case, we have the hidden word is H A R P S. And we guessed, let's say, uh, in this case, we guessed AAA. -A -A. So it goes through and says, you know, is this an exact match? Uh, if it is, then we get the, the letter itself. Uh, if uh, this is our, our guess, if the letter that we guessed is not in the correct position, but it's somewhere else, like in this case here, then we get that plus. So that's why in this case we get these two are a perfect match, so we get A, and this A is here, you know, all those A's are there, so we get plus, plus, plus. Uh, in this case here with uh, hello, um, so I'm going to go over here, harps, hello, oops, hello. So in this case, H is a perfect match, so we got that. Uh, but E is nowhere to be found, so if it's like a really bad guess, I just get the star. L is nowhere to be found on the secret word, so I get a star, and, and so forth. So in this case, uh, in the case of harms, I'll put it up here, harms. So R and R are in the same place, so I get the R and the H are in the same place, and the A are in the same place. But the M is nowhere to be found, so it's going to be a star, and the S is in the right place, so I get that. So uh, you probably get the idea. You need to get the idea, uh, because otherwise you're not going to be able to implement it. So let's go back uh, further down, and basically we just have to implement that class. Oops, that's the next question. So hidden word is implemented. So I'm going to say file new. You can't see that, but I'm just saying file new. Java class, uh, it's called hidden word. So I created a new class. You can see over here, I already put some of the test stuff in. Um, and so I'm going to have a private string word, so I know that. And I'm also going to need a constructor, right? So typical constructor is just going to store the word in here. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. It already does that. So now the tricky part, get hint. So I need to implement that. I know it's going to return a string and it has to be public. So public string get hint. Oops. Hint. And it takes uh, my guess as a um, word. So now how are we going to implement this? Well, uh, I think the way to do this is we're going to have to, you know, just as we did here, we're going to have to write a for loop that goes and checks, you know, first position, second position, third position, fourth position, sixth position. And they tell us that the guess and the word both are the same length, so we don't have to worry about one of these being longer. So we're going to have a loop that goes through the length of this and checks both of these. Uh, and does that the logic there. So for i goes from zero to let's say word dot length. Again, they're both supposed to be the same. So I uh, notice that you know length here is um, has parentheses as a method because word is a class, and well you know well length is a is a prop is a method of word. Um, unlike in the arrays where length was a property. Um, so just something to remember, and uh, what do we need to? So what I like to do is just uh, break it down. So the two things that we care about are the guess letter 
a lot of that we're going to be dealing with in the guess is the yeah, guess dot substring i comma i plus one so this is how we get uh, we get the letter at position i right i the substring from i to i plus one is going to be one letter long by definition so the substring returns a string that is a substring of, the, of this string with that in begin index and the second is the end index so this is something you need to know and then the guess letter and then the word letter is similarly word dot substring i comma i plus one so uh there's like three cases right first if guess letter guess letter equals uh word letter so in the case they're both the same what do we do if you remember we we uh uh, if they're both the same, we just create the, use the same letter. Okay, so we're going to be accumulating a result. I forgot to put that in. So I'm going to put the result is starts out as empty. So if they're both the same, result equals result plus uh, guess letter or the other one doesn't matter because they're both the same. Uh, so I'll comment that both are the same, kind of obvious. Else if uh, so the second one is the trickier one, right? So else if the guess, say uh, here, where was the, the plus here? Uh, I'm guessing A and hey, this is an H, so they're not the same. Um, but A is somewhere in the secret letter, in the word. Uh, so how do I do that? How do I find if a particular letter is somewhere inside another string? Well, hopefully you know. Uh, there is a contains method, right? Uh, we can say, does the word, word, our secret word, which maybe I should have called secret, uh, but too late. So this is our secret. So if our secret word contains the guest letter, um, then uh, result, we use the plus sign. Oops. There you go. And otherwise, the mom the same is not contained, so it was a total uh, miss. So when it's a total miss, we use the star. Get a hand there, right? And uh, I think that's it. Then return result. All right, so we start with the empty string, make three types of decisions, and then end. And return the result. Let's try that. We can run that and uh, see if you forgot. But uh, you know, we uh, this is our main. We create the word. Just this is just copying what their example was. Not that uh, this one. So I create their word, and then I'm gonna test it against these. So I should get these things. And sure enough. Uh, we get those things h star h star plus plus star and then and the final corpse right. so that works and that's uh, probably the type, type of solution uh, that they're looking for um, well one thing i do want to mention uh, this is sort of beyond i think the ap test but uh this is a uh, this is not something you would do. This part right here, uh, what happening? What's happening here is you're creating a string, right? Because strings are immutable. Uh, yeah, strings are immutable. Immutable. So each time you append it, you actually create a new string. You're already creating guest letter, but you're also creating a new string and putting that into result, and the old result gets thrown away and has to be garbage collected. So if this was like a really long word and you were concerned about, you know, your program slowing down to, due to garbage collection, uh, you wouldn't do that. So just generally you wouldn't do this. You would use a string builder, uh, which was built just for this kind of situation. Uh, so it works very similarly. You say new string builder. So a string builder is a lot like a string, uh, except it doesn't deal, you know, you can't do the the plus thing you do append 
Um, and then I'm going to pin that guest letter there. And that's uh, only result.append the plus sign and uh, result.append the star. And then I can't return result, but I return result to string, so I convert it back to string. So this is going to make the program a lot faster. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter, of course, for such a small program as this, but um, in the real world, it would. So you generally, uh, you don't do that. You don't build strings. If you're going to need to build a string, use the string builder. Um, but either way, um, both actually work and they do the same thing.